Davis won the toss, elected to receive. Fans kick off. Elijah Moore will hit a knee, and Ole Miss gets it. Quarterback draw. Mon fake it, and now has to toss it with pressure in his face. Mon makes the throw, and Buckley holds it in for another Aggie first down. Hard. Mond third and seven steps up delivers right at the sticks Buckley holds it in move the chains of the 50s to get it in the end zone rather than settling for three So playing to the outside Buckley blockers ahead Buckley inside the five shoved out It will be first and goal Texas a Mond Will bounce it outside touchdown Walks in with a block from Jace Sternberger. This is one of those things you just can't teach. It's instinctive of how to play off your lead blocker, Kellen Mon. On first and ten, Tahamu fakes it, tosses to the outside, slipping away inside the 30-yard line. Here goes Lodge down the sideline, stretching. He's in. Touchdown. Oh, miss. First play of the second quarter goes 44 yards. Defense has barely been on the field, but they've given up a couple big ones in the pass game. So Ta'amu over the middle in the air. A.J. Brown, another big one through the air. A.J. Brown down the sideline. Finally wrestled down by Mylon Jones. On first and goal, high snap handle. Tom will trying to find the edge. He will walk in. Touchdown with Woolard blocking for him. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Rebels on top. She can go for it on fourth down. Mon dropping back to the 50, takes the pressure and takes the sack. Mon back at the 49. Forget about fourth down now. With the 12th man behind him. Woolard. Gets across the 10, across the 15. He's brought down from behind. On one, on one down here, a lot of space. Jordan Tahamu winds up, takes a deep shot. It is caught, bubbled, and a terrific grab by Demarcus Lodge. Somehow, one-handed, Lodge holds it in. And just an amazing catch by five. And two of them 40 plus to Lodge. And now to Amu, second and two. He wants a football, and the Aggies appear to be on top. The second football recovery of the year by the Aggie defense. Alaka knocked it free. Kingsley Kiki on top. And as the Rebels. All season. On second and nine, dragging over the middle, Osborne. Shaking his way across the 35. You can see why the Aggies are excited to get him back. Oh, a great. Rebels show pressure off the end. Picked up by Williams. Mod Osmond dragging over the middle of midfield. Julius on the stop. Trying to get it into the one down here in the boundary to this guy, Osmond. Mod Osmond again over the middle. Grabs it again. This drive has been all Jamon Osmond, the sophomore from Houston. Fresh on first and ten, flings outside. Now it's Courtney Davis. More attention on Osmond. Brees Davis on the outside, right at the stick. On four completions, three of them to Osmond. 50 yards on this drive. And now Mon to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckley. Aggies in the end zone. 21 yards from Mon. Two passing TDs for Kellen Mon. One rushing TD. Bond hits a knee. Aggies go to halftime even with Ole Miss. They will receive the second half kickoff. More so than even Alabama. From the inside the five. This is Corbin. Across the 15. Corbin gets across the 25-yard line. And the dangerous Jay Sean Corbin sets the Aggies up. The lead blocker on a linebacker. So the Trevion Williams can do his thing. With Gillespie leading the way. Big puck on the right side. Opening the door for Travion Williams. Number 12. Cullen Gillespie, the senior from Katie Taylor, opens it up for Travion Williams. Gain of 29. This is that old school aspect of this offense. 
Colin Gillespie uh, being the lead blocker, stocking him, bam, right there. That's Mohamed Sonogo, just a good job of being patient. Sternberger, who <laughs> leads the team in receiving as well as doing the work as the tight end. Now trying on the left side, Gillespie a blocking again for Williams, takes it inside the five. The fullback, Colin Gillespie, walk on to special team star. The donning the number 12, team captain, and now the only senior starter on the Aggie offense. Watch this, bang! That's the way to get it. Mond on second and goal. Williams blocking for Mondo's football, scooped up by the Rebels. Woods has it, and he has room to run. There's a flag down as Woods goes sprinting down the far sideline, all the way into the end zone. 95 yards, but all the way. Roll kept both guys, and both have done a great job. Trying to keep as many votes as possible in Oxford. Bond on third and eight. Sternberger holds it in. Huge grab by the tight end to take the Aggies inside the 20. The junior from Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Sternberger is such a weapon and one of the favorites. With Gillespie and Williams. Bond drops. Looking for the fade. End zone. Caught touchdown. Courtney Davis. Aggies after back to back turnovers. A touchdown drive. Mon to Courtney Davis. I don't know if you can throw a football any better than that. To Amu. Pumps, tosses. There's your first third down conversion. And it's A.J. Brown over the middle. Second effort, he gets across the 30, and a flag is down. During the play, personal foul, targeting. Number nine of the offense, blindside block. Penalties half the distance to the goal. Repeat, third down. And through all of that, third down. To Amu, and the Aggies read it perfectly. Tyrell Dodson pushes them back. Forward progress to the 10, but that's it. Fourth down, the Rebels will punt. The best kickers in Daniel LeCamera. Injured foot in the Clemson game, so Seth Small has assumed the kicking duties. And that 46-yarder is good. That's a bounce back for the freshman from Katy High School. He missed the 36-yarder in the fourth last week. To Amu, pressure. And Seth. And the Aggie defense remains perfect on third down. Wilson gets home on Jordan to Amu to force a three and out. Yeah. After struggling a week ago, let the game box come back. Cooley right down the seam. The tight end, Cooley, and there is your RPO to the tight end. The, all of a sudden, Octavius Cooley, big weapon for the Catch is coming in, has three today. Amu's going to fake it, toss it, seam again. Nice grab, reaching down to get it. Elijah Moore, the true freshman who is emerging. He makes a heck of a grab there. Logan. Brown is the holder. The 22-yarder is no good. And the Aggies hang on to the lead. Logan missed a 28-yarder in Arkansas. Rebels won it anyway. But shell and to a tongue by low a little banged up. They're gonna have to be careful about how many times they put it back there in that pocket with that great defensive front. Here goes Jay Sternberger. Made a nice grab in the flat and Sternberger across the 40-yard line. Sonogo with his 16th. Snap it at 10 seconds here. Mon pulls it. Kellen Mon rolling across the 50-yard line with a block on the edge from Courtney Davis. Ellen Mond there makes the right decision to pull that one. It was only his eighth carry of the game. It was a misdirection. The impression that the uh, defense can feign an injury to gain time on the clock. Williams, right side, sheds away from Sonogo. Williams inside the 15, but a flag is down. The missed tackle by Sonogo allowed for the big run, but then Trevor Wood, I wonder if that was a hold on him, the tight end out there on the outside edge. Personal foul, Force. face mask. Face mask. Defense. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run, automatic first down. Oh. I think that's going to be on Cody because 46, Sonogo, nope, there he is with his left hand on Travion Williams. On second and goal. Make it, toss it, and it is caught. Touchdown. 
Courtney Davis finishes off the Aggie drive with a Texas A&M touchdown. Beautiful little play action fake here. Just going to drop the ball to the back line of the end zone. And Davis does the rest. Beautiful job. This looked like it was a bust on that back end because Davis came completely wide open. Sonogo needed to. With the 12th man behind the Aggies. To Amu. He's going to take a shot. Downfield Brown. It is caught inside the 15. Brown goes and gets it over Miles Jones again. That's been the thing that's been hurting this defense all season long. The key. Jones can't be in better position. Even face masks. To Amu. Fade. Brown in zone. Juggled and incomplete. Miles Jones able to give Brown just enough opposition to force fourth and six. Bounce back. This one from 24. And the sophomore drills it from 24. So you get three rather than seven. But the Rebels still have three timeouts. Side kick, whether this is a bluff. It is an onside kick. And the Aggies have it at the 46 yard line. And Trevor Wood gets on top of the football. So even with the three timeouts, defense looking for a critical stop. Williams at his 31st carry, and it opens up wide for Williams inside the 20, and Travion Williams with an Aggie exclamation point. Touchdown, Texas A&M. The Aggies winning the fourth quarter. Uncanny how Jim Turner, the offensive line coach, and Jimbo Fisher have made this lead play, this fullback offense go in the short amount of time they've been here at Texas A&M. They, they didn't have fullbacks and tight ends in this offense for the last several years in the Kevin Sumlin era. They have found a way to do it and do it unbelievably well. But it's a bender play, Rick. They start out to the left and come all the way backside. That's a very unconventional look that creates a lot of pressure for a defense. You have to be gap sound. Oldness down here at the bottom of the screen, locked up one-on-one but -on -one. Well, the match just doesn't work out 19 seconds to Otto will take the sack they will use a timeout 15 seconds two touchdowns 15 seconds haven't got it there yet the Aggies are going to be bowl eligible they're going to get their sixth win in Texas A&M after losing a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter last week at the end of the season but two big games coming up Vanderbilt and obviously the Egg Bowl against Mississippi State look for them to play very, very hard down the stretch. There will be a bowl game for Texas A&M for a 10th straight season. Aggies did not play perfect. Two turnovers in the second half. Kept the Rebels in it. But Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies with a 38-24 win over Ole Miss to make it 6-4 on the year.